hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a very interesting model called as compass judger if you have been following my channel you know that i deal with a lot of large language models almost every day the one problem we all face when deploying these llms is their evaluation compass judger is one such model which enables you to judge these models efficient and accurate evaluation of these models is quite critical for the continuous improvement of your ai powered applications there are already a lot of assessment methods out there and we have covered some of them already on the channel the thing is that the subjective evaluation has garnered or attracted significant attention due to its superior alignment with real world usage scenarios and human preferences but these human based evaluations are costly and lack reproducibility i have used open ai's model in some of the projects to judge the responses to make sure that uh, quality is there and the responses are correct but trust me that could go out of hand in terms of pricing very very soon and then there is throttling and lot of other issues with these api based models and that really makes the precise automated evaluator vital in this process and that is where this new model called as compass judger 1 which is the first open source judge llm in terms of its reach compass judger 1 is a general purpose llm that demonstrates remarkable versatility it is capable of performing unitary scoring and two model comparison as a reward model it conducts evaluations according to specific formats it generates critiques and it executes diverse tasks like a general llm we are going to install it locally and then we will also test it out on some of the questions when it comes to judging so let's go and try to get this thing installed before we do that let me introduce you to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of fifty percent discount on range of GPUs. So do check them out. Okay, so let's go to my terminal where I'm running this Ubuntu twenty two point zero four, and I have this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A six thousand with forty eight GB of VRAM. Let's create a virtual environment, and this is where we are going to install everything. and then play with the model and my virtual environment is now activated let's install all the prerequisites make sure you install the transformers from its source so that we are dealing with the latest one now while it installs let's have a bit more discussion around this model so as i said it uses balanced sampling to maintain category diversity in the data set and they also uh, back it up with a very very well written paper you can access it from their model card and i will drop the link to it in video description you can even conduct multi data training using judge reward and supervised fine tuning data with xtuner we already have covered xtuner on our channel in a very simple to explain video just search it with xtuner and you should be able to find it Also if you go through their paper you would see that they mentioned that it has achieved 95% of GPT-40 performance on evaluation tasks it has also outperformed existing open source judge models on judger bench which is a um, benchmark they have introduced and balancing reward data is key to preventing model collapse and i think that is one of the hallmark of this model okay so let's wait for this to finish i think it will take couple more minutes all the prerequisites are done let's also launch our jupiter notebook and then we are going to download and play around with the model and my jupiter notebook is launched let's import the libraries and download the model and you see that i am going with the 7 billion instruct version here this model also comes in other flavors like 32 billion 14 billion and also a very small one 1.5 billion and the model is being downloaded there are four shards so let's wait for it to finish downloading and while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video 
who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient it is reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your query Agent QL is a robust alternative to fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze page structure to find the data you are looking for. Okay, let's go back and see what is happening. So let's wait for this model to get downloaded. And the model is downloaded and also loaded onto our GPU. Let's see how this judge works. I'm going to put a prompt here. Let me first explain what is happening here so this is a prompt as you can see we are passing an input and then we are giving it a dialog so this input is showing the capability of this model as a reward model where it is doing the comparison so you see we have passed it the input like please read the dialog between the two assistants and the user to determine which assistant performed better during the conversation and then we have given it the dialogue content where user is same, saying something assistant assistant b so you see user is saying what is a five letter word that starts with letter a and contains the letter this 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 assistant a says artwork b says the word that meets the given criteria is adroit and user is saying that user is saying something and then assistant b is reverting back so and then we are asking this model if you believe assistant a performed better please output a directly if you believe assistant b performed better please output b directly and then we are putting it in the chat template we are passing it after tokenizing it to the model model is generating the output and we are printing it out so let's run it and you can see that the model has responded with b just as we asked it to do and it has done wonderfully well i would say Similarly, you can even go with the pairwise judging. For that, let me show you an example. Let me put it, um, format it properly. And now in this example, you see that I have formatted it and it is doing the pairwise. So these are the pairs here where we are asking it that you are an assistant to specialize in evaluating the quality of text. You are asked to evaluate the quality of an A assistant's response to a user question as an impartial judge. Since the type of answer you are evaluating is role playing, you need to evaluate the answer in terms of the following dimensions. And we have given it some dimensions like creativity, richness and all that stuff. And then we are also giving it some more direction as what we are going to provide and what it needs to evaluate. That evaluate the A assistant answer, combine the evaluation and then does the scoring. Also, it needs to explain why it did what it did. And then afterwards, at the end of your answer return all of your scoring results so i have already run it so there you go so you see it is telling us about evaluation it is comparing them and then it is showing us what is the problem like lack in the ai assistant answer and then it is evaluating in different dimensions like factual correctness logical coherence creativity richness amazing stuff and then it is combining the score and then these are the final scoring results where it says factual correctness 7 meet user and 6 and of course from here you can make your own decision so if you think about it if you have a production environment where you are we have where you really want these two uh, for example meet user needs you can evaluate different models and who whichever model scores higher you can use it in your ai pipeline now another thing you can do you can even use this judge in different other scenarios for example you can use it for response critic and let me show you what that means let me put the prompt here in the response critic i am just asking it to help me to give a revised opinion for the following answer and there is a user question here that write a word and do something and then there is a response and it is going to give us a critique so let me run this while that happens let's also check its gpu consumption it is just consuming over 15 gig of vram so make sure that for 7 billion model you should have it if you don't have that much vram go with the 1.5 billion one 
Okay, so it has come back with the answer. There you go. So it has given us a revised version of the poem to better capture the sense of autumn without explicitly mentioning falling leaves. Very nice. There you go. It is explaining it that this version aims to convey the imagery of autumn leaves changing and passage of time while maintaining a reflective melancholic tone. Amazing stuff. So very, very fine model, I would say, from Open Compass, and I believe I already have covered a few models from them in the past. I will drop the link to their model card in video description. Play around with it. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.